We're going to talk about two features. One is called percent button on journal entry page, and the other one is called save and reverse button. We're testing these two features separately, but eventually these two will be merged into one right tool setting. Anyway, once these two are turned on, we're going to go into a journal entry page. I haven't saved this journal entry yet, but it's the journal entry that I'm working on. I want to save this journal entry, reverse it, and save it again, all in a single click. This is what Save and Reverse button will do. Once I click on Save and Reverse, notice that this journal entry is originally dated May 23rd, 2024. You're going to notice that the minute I click on that, the journal entry will be saved. It will be reversed into a new journal entry, and it will be saved as of the first day of the month following the date of the original journal entry. So let me click on Save and Reverse and it will take usually about 10 seconds or less. You will see it save, you will see it reversed, and then you will see it automatically dated um, on the first day of the following month. So that's what save and reverse does. Let's turn our attention to the bottom right of the journal entry where it says multiply by percentage. So assume that in this journal entry, you wanted to only have, let's say, a fifth of these amounts being adjusted. So instead of going into each one of these numbers and dividing it by five or multiplying it by 0.2, by 20%, just go in here where it says percentage to multiply by. We're gonna type two zero. Then I'm gonna click on the multiply by link right next to it. And you will notice that after I click okay and accept, all the numbers will be multiplied by that 20%. So I can maybe change the date to the next of the month or whatever it is and then multiply this um, or uh, repeat this journal entry by five other journal entries or four other journal entries. And essentially I could use this as a use case to amortize a particular entry that gets reversed over time. Um, you would choose whatever uh, use case would be best for you. We'd love to know in the description, in the, in the comments, you know, how would this be useful for you? and also how we enhance this feature all by itself. Thank you, hope that's helpful.